Okay, if you do it like that, she's going to have to turn her head to look. You have to do it straight up. But hi. Then you're not. We'll, fig we'll figure it out. Okay. First thing, mom, hi. This is what a side looks like over them, okay? This piece here is the balloon. So when you, so first, okay, hold on. First thing, when you put your blouse, and this is where I'm going to have to do this fast. When you put your blouse and petticoat on, when you tie this, you need to tie it somewhat tight. You see how it's kind of like pinching here? Because the weight of the sari has to be held, right? So you've got to tie this. You always tie it on the left. You tie it tight. And if it's a lot of string, you tuck it in. But this, um, I'm just going to leave out. But you make it this kind of tight because the weight of the pleats and the sari itself will pull it down. So you need to make sure that it's tight enough. So when you have this, when you start putting it on, you see the balloon, it always has to come on your left. So you have to start the sari with the balloon this way. So you make the front, this is the front, not the flip side. And this is the top border. And that's the balloon and the top border. So you start at the end, and you start and you tuck in. Tuck in the front here. And you, you make sure, you see how you want it to be a, a little long in the front. Like this is actually a bit short for me for my leg. But anyway, you tuck it in so it really it hits the floor. Okay, you start, you start about here. You wrap it around and you make sure you keep it long in the back as well. And you're going to have to make little pleats on the sides to account for your, your shape, right? So come around like this. And then another pleat is necessary here, another little fold is necessary here. And you, you kind of do it how it fits you, right? So this is how it works for me. And then I'm going to tuck this in more. Okay. So you get a little bit of the border showing in the back, and you have this long down to the floor at your feet. And you come around, and now you have to start making the pleats. And when you make the pleats, you see how the side has been folded, so there are creases. So when you make the pleats, you kind of work around the fold, the fold uh, folds. So what happens is you start by making the pleats. I just lie them on my stomach here as I make them. And uh, you see I have a, a crease here already, so I'm using that as my first pleat. It just works out that it's the right width. Um, so the width should be something like this, which is a little bit less than six inches or approximately six inches. Now, some people can do pleats. They can just do with their hand like this. I, I don't know how to do it, so I, I don't have that kind of skill. So I have to do it like this. So you fold the pleats. And as you go, you make sure that this is where it gets a little interesting because this, they don't always cooperate the way you want to. Think. Make a bunch of pleats and you keep doing that until you have the right amount left that's going to wrap around you and go over your shoulder. And when you make the pleats, you are making them very tidy, and you're lining them up together here. You know, they're all lined up, kind of, on this side. So you keep making these pleats. Now, depending on your height, this is, you're going to change, you know, your, the balloon left over, it's going to change, right? So you, you'll learn that as you practice this, as you do this, and you'll figure it out. All right, so now I have the pleats. So now, what I have to do is you, you don't tuck them in like this, you have to flip them, okay? So then the, the pleats have to be facing this way, not that way. So here we go. And 
Okay, now the pleats will sit about here. This is where you want them to sit. They're going to be sort of past the center line of your of your legs because when you walk, you want the pleats to kind of show. So as you step, the pleats are going to be kind of where your left leg swings. Okay, um, and I'm going to have to leave a little more here, and this. Now I have this extra bit here. You're just going to, you can, well, I'll just do this. You can do it a couple of different ways. I'm going to put it in the front. Okay. So here's this, this extra bit, right? I'll put that in the front. And then the front part is, we're almost done. Tuck it. Okay, so you take this whole bunch and you fold it into the petticoat. Okay, just leave that for a second, right? Make sure these are flat. Then you take, you need a big pin that's sharp. You gotta sharp, I have to sharpen these. I have to sharpen these on the stone or something. You need a big pin. You take the big pin, you come in here and you make sure you get in the center of the pleats carefully. Don't stick your finger. Very carefully go through his, all the folds of the fabric. Don't go through the front. And then carefully. The other thing is you don't want to ruin the, the zadi weave of your satin. So you're very careful when you do this. Okay. So now we've got these ready to go. So now this comes around. And then the way you do it is this has to lie like this, okay? So it comes up like this. Comes around. It's supposed to lie like this. Now, here's next step. This is at, this is that's how it's going to lie. But now I have to do the palu here. So now, time to pleat the palu, and you're going to place it on your shoulder. You have to start the pleats on the bottom end, and the bottom pleat has to be the one on the top. So the way you do that is you fold like this. Okay? So this is, you're looking at this, you're looking at me reversed. So I hope this is not too confusing. But this is, this is the bottom pleat. I mean the bottom border. And so you pleat outside like this. Okay? It's approximately you know, a little less than six inches, and um, you can see by uh, my hand, the side, my, here's my, this is, it's about how, how you're doing it, okay? And you do these, and it's very important that the, it's nice and even. Um, So now, okay, so here we are now, we're at the end. When I do these pleats, it would, I have to make this even, but for, for the moment, you see, then the top one has to lie like this, because it's going to come across your body like this. So you, the front pleat, the, the, the front pleat, which is the, the bottom border, has to point out like this, because that's going to be on your shoulder, and the inside border pleat must come across the body evenly. So now I'm going to make these. Just straighten these out. And Sergey's very hungry. He's being very patient. So this is good. I'm hungry too. That's fine. Okay. So I've got these pretty even. They're not perfect. So then the next thing is you hold this up and you've got to make sure 
you're going to take a look at the way the, the fabric is, is lying. Right? So what I'm doing now is I'm making sure that the rest of this is nicely sitting according to how I've done the pleat for the top. So here we go with this. So I kind of, I, I'm sticking my hand in here and I'm, you know, making sure this is not the easiest thing to do. Okay. Sometimes, depending on the type of um, weaving that's been done, it's it's uh, it's a little stiff, which is nice. The stiffness is nice, but then it, it, it becomes um, more of a challenge just working with it. So, all right, this isn't perfect, but it will it'll have to do. Ideally, these things are all sitting. All right, so here we go. Now I have. Now this is even. See, these pleats are coming even like this. So now we bring it up, bring it up, and you'll see how this kind of comes up too. You get these things up here. That's fine. That's the way it's supposed to go. Um, so I have this piece here. Now the thing is, I'm keeping it even because I want it to lie on my body. You want it, you get it, because you're going to pin all of this. So you take all this trouble because you you pin it and it stays like this all day, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So. I've got this here, okay? You see the length of this palu? This is about right for my height. You want it to fall nicely somewhere between your knee and your foot. You want it to have a nice graceful fall. So here I am, got this bit going here. It's coming around my back. Here we go. And over my shoulder. Over the shoulder. Now, now we have a very nice, even thing here, okay? Very nice, neat, and even. Okay. It's very important to have your sari be neat, by the way. You see, any Indian woman sees you, she's not quite tidy, she says she'll fix your sari for you. <laughs> so, now we have a thing that is a little extra. So, when you pull this, Okay, now, now I've got, now hold that for a second. Now I've got this set, this is set, this is all set. Now pin it. Now you want to pin it. Before you do any other adjustments, you want to pin this. You look at the mirror and you make sure it sits right on the shoulder. Okay, now pin. Pin somewhere in the back. Try to make the pin as invisible as you can. And you pin it to your blouse. You gotta get your hand on your blouse. The pin will show a little bit, which you just sort of accept. Everybody kind of accepts that. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to put another pin, but now you see these pleats, they're very, it's very tidy now, lying across the body, very nice, okay. And now we have this last bit, it's a bit wormy, right? You want this to fit nicely on the body. So you, you pull this just a bit, and you just tuck in the extra into your tight petticoat. And when you're wearing it, like it, that may require some adjustment. I, I, I make minor adjustments, but basically, you're set to go. Now you've got nice tidy pleats here. They're lying in the right spot, and, uh, and here we are. All done. I'll put another pin in here just to keep it straight and we're good. Namaskaram. <laughs>